Attention one and all. Read and share. The majority of the popular Christian churches of today have a hideous understanding of who God is. They imagine him to be a monstrosity of sorts, such as a being with three heads, that is, the Trinity. It's a revolting mockery of our Lord God. But we Bible-believing Christians can make a difference. That's why I am sending you this message. If you do send this around, we just might be able to prevent these false teachings from spreading all over the world. Let's stand for what we believe and stop the mockery of God and His wonderful distinct personality. Where do we stand as Christians? I am forwarding this to all I think will respect and appreciate being informed. Please help us prevent such offenses against our Lord God. There is no petition to sign, no time limit, or minimum number of people to send this to. It will take you less than two minutes. If you are not interested or do not have the two minutes it will take to do this, please do not complain if God does not seem to have time for you. Imagine what would happen if this doctrine would were depicting Muhammad in the same way. The Islamic world would be in flames. All we need is a lot of prayer and lots of participation in forwarding this message. Just get the word out. Will God be able to find at least 50 righteous people who are willing to express their concern and voice their opinion against this act of blasphemy? Boycott it. Spread it to all your contacts. Who is God? God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Note, not three lords. And the scribes said unto him, Well, master, thou hast said the truth. For there is one God, and there is none other but He. Mark chapter 12, verse 32. Note, God is a He, not them or her. God is creator of heaven and earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11. Thus saith God, the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, He that spread forth the earth. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 5 Know ye that the Lord, He is God? It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Psalms 100 verse 3 He is king, judge, lawgiver. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. He will save us. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 22. Father of all, but to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we in him. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 6. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. Head of Christ, all. And the head of Christ is God. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. God is eternal, everlasting. 
before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Psalm 90 verse 2 Almighty, Most High, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 verse 1 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. Genesis chapter 14 verse 18 I am the Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1 The Lord our God is holy, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy. For I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 44. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3. God is love. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 God has a body and parts and he said thou canst not see my face for there shall no man see me and live Exodus chapter 33 verse 20 and it shall come to pass while my glory passeth by that I will put thee in a cliff of the rock and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away mine hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Exodus 33 verses 22 and 23. God is a personal being, for man was made in his image and likeness. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. What is God's name? That man may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. Psalm 83 verse 18.